my dear creative buddies i hope everyone is fine and today we are going to learn about the interesting law that is snell's law okay so this snell's law is also called as law of refraction okay then what is snell's law who has given this snell's law snell's law was given by willy broad snell okay what is snell's law so snell's law is nothing but the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to the, the sin of angle of refraction is constant for a given two mediums okay so if you are taking any certain two mediums let us take air and water medium then the sin of the angle of incidence and the sin of the angle of refraction will be constant means the speed of the change in light for the given two mediums will be constant it might be any it might be any way it will be constant okay so let us derive this snell's law okay so this is the interface of the two medium so this is the medium 1 and this is the medium 2 it might be rarer to denser or denser to rarer okay so this is the interface then where does the light will be bending or refracting from the incidence yes or no after touching to the interface the light starts refracting either it will be towards the normal or away from the normal it, it will be dependent depending on the rarer to denser or denser to rarer if it is to rarer to denser then it will be refracting towards normal okay if it is from denser to rarer then it will be refracting away from the normal okay so this is what the type of refraction then here this is the incident ray and this is the refracted ray and the angle made by the incident ray to the to the normal we say it as angle of incidence and this is the refracted ray so the angle made by the refracted ray towards the normal is called as angle of refraction so yeah, according to the snell's law sin i by sin r is equals to constant okay the ratio of uh, sin of the angle of incidence to the sin of the angle of refraction will be constant so constant means to what it will be equal to it will be equal to the relative refractive index of the two mediums then what is the relative refractive index it is nothing but sin i by sin r is equals to n2 by n1 so it is equal to the ratio of refractive index of the second medium to the refractive index of the first medium okay so if you are taking the cross multiplication then what do we get n1 sin i is equals to n2 sin r okay so this is what your snell's law is n1 sin i is equals to n2 sin i n1 is the refractive index of the first medium sin i is the sin of the angle of incidence n2 is the refractive index of second medium and sin r is the sin of the angle of refraction okay so i hope you have understood this topic if you have any doubts regarding this topic please do comment in my comment section and still more interesting videos are yet to come so till then keep observing and keep learning thank you